She's got that style that makes you think she's made out of gold. She's turning up the volume on the radio. She makes that smile, yeah. She's got that style that makes you think she's made out of gold. She's turning up the volume on the radio. Yeah. I'm gonna make it worth your. Hello, everyone. Hello, Miriam. Hi. How are you, Diane? I I'm feeling nervous Me? today. Oh. <laughs> Not, not because of, for medical reasons. Oh, so, so sorry to hear that. Yeah. I hope it gets better over the next few days. 
I hope so. Yeah. Oh, thank hi, you. Paula. Hi, Tina. Nina, how are you, dears? I am struggling with my camera today. So oh, she's struggling with her camera. Yeah. After her big organization, you change she changed yeah. you change things around. I change things around, but uh, I I will change my my canvas so you can see it better at least. <laughs> I tried to take out one stencil and I couldn't do it and I am afraid I am going to take everything down so oh. no, no you don't want that to happen no please you know i uh, independent of what we are going to do i did a lot of prints only for collage so i think oh. i want to do a collage today oh i love collage on canvas so i i'll read a I'll read the little description of what we're doing today. Okay, please. It's healing through art, celebrating our our uniqueness and our quirks, which I use. The book that we're following is called um, Life Book by Tamara Laporte, and by quirks we mean just what makes what what makes us unique, and then and basing that on basing on that to create a quirky creature but let let's let me read what the description uh, the description i wrote as part of self love and self care which go hand in hand with healing through art we will be celebrating our uniqueness we will be honoring the quirks that make us each unique meaning our personality traits and unique preferences before we create a quirky creature we will create a list of these characteristics then we will create an imaginative quirky bird or quirky creature use the art materials which you prefer and i'll be using digital today but i did create a quirky creature last week just on my own and i created wow, it on paper. lovely lovely uh, I, need, I need to read something paula says happy birthday to maxi thank you and he she says tidy happy then can't find anything yes you are right but i am so stubborn that i'm going to stand up and take out whatever it's over that stencil because i want to use it today <laughs> that's it so okay yeah and i the the list i i made a list ahead of time of just i don't necessarily think they're quirky but i'm going that it's just how they labeled the chapter in the book that i'm follow, we're following along and she called okay. it a, cre creating a quirky bird but i when i created mine last week on my own i i decided i it, it turned into a quirky creature it doesn't have to be a quirky bird i extended that further and I created a quirky creature based on some of my unique preferences, which I don't think are that quirky, but that's just how they say it in the book. And um, pink, I love the, I love color. So today I'm going to be creating a rainbow kitty. I love cats. I especially love the color pink. I love butterflies and birds. So that's why the the cat has wing uh, the wings, and I love flowers. And so I'm creating a rainbow kitty because I love color and that's how, and so that's how I'm, and, and I love things that sparkle, sparkly things. So that, and that's why she's going to have a crown and, Whoa. and I'm doing, I decided I'm doing it digitally today on my iPad using the procreate app, which I love so much that I've been using for 11 years. So what are you doing, Miriam? Okay. So First of all, I need to say, hola, mommy. <laughs> My mother's here. She says, hi, hey, Diane. And oh, hi, Ophelia. And uh, what I am going to do is to put this stencil that, by the way, for those that are doing, I don't know why I don't see the light. I put, I have three lights on the, on the desk. I even brought well maxi brought it for me my lamp from my room wow you see and i still have 
I, I don't have uh, all the light here. Here, I don't have light, so I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Yeah, Maybe you have to work that out sometimes. Like that. Let's see. Is better? No. So I'm not. Okay. Sorry. This is what happened when you tidy up. Yes. You yeah. That. Okay. So uh, I am going to use the stencil. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I want to put something there so I can see. And then I am going to do a little bit of uh, acrylic paint and a collage. And I have something new that is this. So I oh. will be able to dry. And I have another thing new that is this one. And what and is that? What are your two new things? Can you what this are they? Is, uh, uh, how do you say that for the pencils? Automatic. Um, oh, that's a pencil sharpener. Yeah, it's pencil sharpener. And the other one, it's a, a glue hot air gun. Oh, I've never heard of that. You, you, instead of the hair dryer. Right, that's really cool. Yes. But okay, so that's it, and uh, I'm going to have fun today. I did have fun yesterday, and today I did a lot of printing, and uh, I did an organization in my room, and because my uh, keyboard was keyboard to make music was really far away and without a, an outlet uh, nearby in my room still but it wasn't so friendly to just oh i inspiring now i am going to use it so i changed the place placement of that and today i did what i dream of a lot of time that it's to compose music so, oh okay oh and, you compose you would compose original music yes that's amazing I wow I and now i need to perfect that a little bit not a lot and with that i, I learn it because you know you are inspired you do yum 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 and then you do oh how it was, yum, 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 or yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and then I am going to do some lyrics for that, and hopefully I can sing it. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start because you, ma you make me, you make me talk so I cannot do anything. <laughs> No, but that's the thing about live streaming. We have to be able to talk while we create. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I know. I'm going to grab some new uh, paint brushes. This is the <laughs> the the brand is Barbara. Gold, 600. Five, oh, I never four. heard of that brand. Me, me neither. This is a generic one. <laughs> I ruined all my um, brushes. Very. I easy. always hear artists say that they ruin their brushes. I, I don't ruin my brushes. I, I have more brushes than I need. Uh, me too. See? I have this all of these some of them were from my father all the japanese ones were from oh my wow father. i have this guy also and maxi have another one bigger even i have here i cannot 
put another set that I bought. It's a little bit better. And I have there, I cannot reach more <laughs> brushes, but I don't, I, I, I used to buy them really cheap, so I'm not so mad. Yes, I buy oh, cheap. Yes. I try yes. cheaper. I don't. I only have one expensive brush. It's a. It's a. Hi, it's, Uda. One. I only have one expensive brush. The other ones are cheaper brushes that will work just fine for me. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, and I. Uda is here. Hi, Uda. How are Hi, you? Uda. Ola says, my husband is a musician. He plays guitar. Oh, and wow. I think she has in her living room about 2,500 guitars. Well, maybe uh, we I have three guitars in our living room. Two oh, hanging yeah? on the wall. Two hanging on the wall and one standing up in the, in the corner. My well, husband uh, plays around on the guitar. He's not a really a musician. Uh, I'm not a musician, too. I learned when I was really little, so I, what I, I think that what I remember, it's only by, because I love music and I have a good ear. And yeah, I think you have to have a good ear. And, yes. and for guitar, you need strong hands. Yes. But I tried I, I, learning guitar as an adult and it was hard. I tried it for a year. It was hard. I did use guitar. Uh, like when I learn, I learn guitar, but my keyboard is something that I always wanted. But uh, back on the days, <laughs> we didn't have uh, like uh, keyboard, electric keyboards, but piano. Yes, I took piano lessons as a child and um, for a few years, but didn't keep the, didn't keep them up. I, I lost interest. I, I got into dance instead. Oh, I see. And uh, art. I, I have my echo, but I don't have anything on. I you don't, don't have know. anything what? No, because I put uh, my iPad is without voice at all i don't use my iphone now but anyway i have my let's see i had my headphones also connect to my iphone and to my ipad and uh, you know oh now i don't hear maybe are you having an audio? You don't, you sound okay. No, you know what? I must have been connected with my iPhone still. Let's see. Sorry, guys, but I need to. Now? Yes. Even though I, I went out. No, I, I still hear me. Uh, yeah, yes, your audio is fine. That's it. Okay. I hope it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. Let's start to do something. <laughs> so in your quirky creature, you're going to include stuff, stuff that, that music to refer to music, your musical abilities? You know what? It's a very good idea. I wasn't about to, but yeah, I might. And what what other things about your personality and preferences will you include in your quirky creature? Well, it will have, uh, for sure, it will be an animal. Oh, okay. It 
articles. This is an unconventional use of a stencil. <laughs> well, I need to clean it, but I cannot do it now. Uh, I did today something new with the prints. Oh, I have them here. Not all of them came here. I took the tissue paper and I took a marker, a permanent marker, and I did all the tissue paper with uh, Sorry. Hello, Pierre, Alec, and Greg. Hi. How are you, Alec and Greg? And Pierre. And Pierre. Oh. Hi. So then I, first I did that. Then I went and cut everything. And then I did on that jelly printing. So it's interesting because you can put some words, grab a piece of that. Of course, it's not words and uh, marks, let's say, and do whatever you want with that. Okay, I don't have, I am going to clean it later. So what else? Uh, animals, art, any music, music for you. Also, yes, music is part of art. And this is what I am going to do. Numbers. I love numbers. Um, numbers play tricks on me. Yes, why? Uh, uh, I, I see a number a certain way, and then I'll come back when I'm trying to, like, with, you know, with my um, a, accounting mm -hmm. every month or, you know, keeping, I mean, doing my bills. Yes. Over the years, over the years, I've thought I've seen a number a certain way. And then all of a sudden I look at it and I'm like, oh, that's not the number I saw. Like the number looks different. I think I have like numbered dyslexia or something. I might have. Whoa. Something to that. We never heard about that. I know. I may, Maybe I made that up, but that's what I feel like I have. I feel like they play tricks on me where I see Whoa. a number a certain way. And then I look at it later and I'm like, oh, that's not the number I saw. It's like crazy. Wow. You know that Paula have storm, big storms in Holland. Internet is if he says. Oh, and Anina says it's Wendy in Switzerland. Yes, we had. I I was almost all the time. I was in uh, shorts and t-shirt, and suddenly I needed to go to. To, the, to my room to change clothes. Oh. Now I have a sweater and uh, a jeans. So, yeah. And, um, yeah. I think we are going to have some uh, issues tonight also. So, if, if I go out, uh, you know that it's an alert or something. You you will hear that also. Wow, I like it. Let's see what else can I have here. Anina is coming back soon. Okay, well, we have something on the canvas. And oh, I can't see, are you using paintbrushes right now? I did. I did use paintbrush for the last... Uh,
the last stencils that I used. And now I'm going to do something. I don't know yet how my creature will be. Maybe I have some idea. Let's see. I need to blow some, I, I need to dry my canvas, so, oh. Oh, so you're going to use your brand new, one of your brand new um, hot dry, what is that called, a hot dry gun? Uh, uh, hot air gun, yes. I will. There. Oh, so it does make noise. I thought it was a kind that didn't a little, make noise. A little bit noise, but uh, doesn't have a lot of, it's more heat than uh, um, than air. More heat than air. Less noisy. Yes. It's less noisy. I can hear you with the hair dry. I, I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. Paula, I find this so fascinating. The method and techniques, the method and technique from you both. So wonderful. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Paula. You know what my technique is. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> well, let's see what came up. That's my method. That's it. It's dry. Already dry. Okay, now I need to use my pencil. I don't know where it is. Let's grab another one. Well, I'm using the airbrush digital brush right now, probably for most of this thing. I have hundreds of digital brushes because I buy custom, oh, yeah. I, I buy ones that are designed by a certain um, digital brush designer who I really like and um, but I'm using one of the basic procreate brushes just the airbrush mm. but I might switch around my digital brushes Oh. Are you working on the drawing part of your? I working on the drawing part mm -hmm. because I want to know what I am going to do. <laughs> and I did mine ahead of time. I did my drawing ahead of time. I know. I, know. I think it's nerve wracking to not know what you're doing on camera. <laughs> uh, I don't have. No, I have no problem with that. Ah, yes, you have no problem with that. <laughs> better. If I don't know, it's better for me. That's... Uh, yeah, I admire that way of working, but I... I kind of, I kind of like, I like to know ahead of time. I, but I've worked uh, not knowing ahead of time. I've even had live streams where I asked the, the viewers, I asked the, the people in the chat to 
I give them a choice of three things and ask them, which which one would you like me to create today? When I used to paint an alcohol inks live on camera, I would ask them, would you like me to paint a landscape or something fantasy or, or like a third choice and, and take a vote in the chat for what they would like me to paint? Yeah. Well, my water today is in the floor. <laughs> I have no room here for water. Oh. So, yeah. Is that because of the change the change of things for during your organization? Uh, in part, in part mm -hmm. because I wanted to have a stand for the computer. And uh, below the stand I can put First of all, the cage that I did, it have uh, some dimension, particular dimension. So I need to work in between all of that, <laughs> but it's okay. Well, this is not the one I need because this is transparent. I want white. So I am going to grab another white. Sorry. Oh, let's see if I can open this finally. No, I cannot. Well, I'm going to do with that. Let's grab another one. Oh, this is a new one. Okay, let's use it. <laughs> That's my. how my thought works. It works. Well, it works like how? Well, like, oh, I want that. Okay, I can. Oh, oh yeah, and spontaneous, you mean, spontaneous. Yeah, very, very, very. <laughs> I think that is because I really uh, trust in my ability to create. Ah, I think so. Yeah, you're probably right. And then, and that interview today with Carrie on PM Artist Studio, yeah. he, they were asking yeah. him and he kept talking about how he's OCD and very, and controlling and how that impacts his creativity. Yes. And that, that works, it kind of works for him. Like, I mean, I think it does work for him because they were comparing other people that work more messy and he works very neat. And um, I tend, I tend towards the middle. I, I think I'm not super neat. I'm not super messy, but I tend towards the messy side, but I'm kind of in the middle. Oh, uh, yeah. But he's doing changes lately. <laughs> Uda says that... Uh, we call it a heat tool now. Back in the day, someone got in trouble at the airport calling it a heat gun. <laughs> oh. oh, Anina just came home. Hi, Anina. So Paula says it was a wonderful interview. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was a wonderful interview. Yes. Yes. I'm looking forward to July. I started to do something. Who knows? Knows. <laughs> Still, what? You say you have a surprise in July? Oh, yeah. We all have. Oh. Carrie is a surpriser. Let's say like that. Oh, okay. It will be something really good. Okay, let's see. That's okay. Have the numbers, have the numbers. Here, have the, that. Let's see what else happened here. I think I like letters better than numbers. 
<laughs> do you want I think me I like to word better than word? Do you want me to find the letter now? What are you doing with me? With so oh, let's hi Anthony. That's grayscale painting. Hi Anthony. Okay, now I need another color. I already used pink, gold, and white. Uda says, I agree, great interview. Me too, says Paula, and laughing. What are you laughing at, Paula? Hmm. Okay, I have something here. Let's start to use it. And I need let's do the cat with this. That will make a good cat. How? How, how? Are you including more than one animal in your creature? No, only one animal. Oh, because mine is a cat with wings. Oh, I love it. Because the wings represent that I love birds and butterflies. Mm, you thought that more than me. You give it a thought. Mm hmm really hard <laughs> and i i am a kind of person that i need to see what i did to understand me and no well, i got uh, yes i have to get i get inspired by looking at other art so i did i went i did a search through pinterest for um ideas i i'm not a good artist at just having things come out of my head i i actually have to have references oh I see. I used to do things without mm -hmm. uh, any any reference. Right. I, 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 I do with reference too, and I do copying too, <laughs> but I love to have like to, to be myself. Right. So now this quirky creature that I created last week, I did not have any references. This one I did out of my head and I'm I'm not I'm not terribly happy with it. I know. <laughs> That's what I wanted to tell you. <laughs> what? That you are not happy with that. Yeah, well, actually it's a so it's a it's pretty creative, but I don't yeah, look at this. It's a I don't know, it's like an egg shaped head with big eyes and a and I um a bird's beak and a person's mouth. It certainly is creative with cat ears, wings, wings like fa fairy wings, and then bird, bird feet with hair, with human hair. So it is quite creative, but I, I wasn't happy. I don't, I, I think I would want to color it more or something. Mm. Okay, this is the head of the cat. Although I have more, I have dogs, not cats. So what can I do? I don't know. I will do a cat anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you ever, did here? you ever have pets? I mean, cats as pets? I or have briefly. Briefly, uh-huh. Yes, because... We had a cat, we had a cat, his name was Duke, oh. but in Spanish, Duque. And I hope this secret project will be for everyone, not just the designer. No, I think it will, at least is what I heard today that Kerry said that it will be for anyone just not for the designers and i think he reached 
well, I don't know who he reached. He reached me. But I think it was because I have a channel that he reached me and others. But I'm not sure because pa Paula don't have. So could be designers, could be content creators. I, I don't know. But as I, I heard today, it will be for everyone. Oh, that'll be nice. Hi, Pat. Welcome. Welcome, Pat. Hi. So I want to know to do this uh, mix, like uh, different things, and uh, not only collage and not only painting. I will see. I love doing mixed media collage. I love including collage with my painting. I actually, that's how I include my digital art in my acrylic painting is that I create certain things digitally and then I print them out and glue them as, in as collage in my paintings. Oh. I yes. love doing that. And that's, that's also a workaround with my vision disability. With certain things, it would be really hard for me because of my vision to create on canvas. I can create them digitally because look how much I can zoom things up. See, I can zoom things up like 500%. And, wow. Uh, so certain things, I, it's a workaround for my vision to do things, certain things digitally that would be hard for me to do on Canvas. And then I do it digitally, print it out, and use it as collage in my um, mixed media paintings. Oh. When I was telling about my cat, it was a black one. That's oh. only what I remember. I wasn't uh, too little. I was a teenager. And uh, we didn't have dogs. We never had uh, dogs till that. I don't know how that cat ends on our house. Oh. It wasn't my decision, and uh, I'm glad for that, but that's all. So, the, the cat, it was okay, like cat. Not, nothing is special. But then my my parents brought a dog. And the dog was um, a very, like, it was chow chow with a mix with a German shepherd. Oh, interesting combination. Yeah. And he adores me. So... The, the thing is that when the dog came, the dog went to eat the food of the cat. The cat couldn't eat because it was always nervous. Even though we put uh, like the, the food in a place that my dog couldn't reach, so the cat have like a place to eat when when we served them, but it wasn't enough. He was really really nervous, so my parent decided to give it to another person. Wow! Oh. So that was the story of my cat. So your cat got nervous after you brought in the dog. Yes. Right. And then once here in Israel, one person came to our house, a friend, and uh, she told, oh, you need a cat. I have a cat for you. And we really, <laughs> it wasn't something that we went, wanted. Especially me, Maxi wants any animal could be, no matter what, she, she wants it. And uh, not me, me, I am different in that way. I, in that sense, I like more dogs. I'm a dog person. Right. I'm more of a cat person. Yeah, I know. 
I've had some bad experiences with dogs. I was first bitten by a dog when I was second years when I was in second oh. grade and had to be rushed to the hospital to get stitches in my hand. Oh. By a German shepherd. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Well, so the thing is that this person came. I said, yeah, I have that for you. I didn't know what was the story there, but she convinced me. So we accept that, that cat. And we didn't have dogs at the time. We just came to the country. Uh. And, uh, <laughs> and she bring the, the cat I I didn't get I, I didn't get used to cats and not cats in a department because we had a house with, with the only cat I have in my in my life and it's different the cat went was uh, going to to the garden and go out alone and you know, so this cat made a disaster on my um, on all night. All night he started. She 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 wasn't like uh, nurtured. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she Maybe was, was abused abused as a kitten. What? A was she, she was abused she just what she was abused or just not nurtured as a kitten no no nurture it's another word it's like uh, when the cat cannot have kitties oh uh, that means they were fixed or neutered neutered or neutered. Fixed. that's the word or we can also say that they were fixed uh okay so she wasn't so, uh, so she went into those weird they when they're not fixed they get into the heat they go into heat Yes, but she all night, she was little, but all night she claimed to, uh, we, we had something from uh, other tenants that was for a television. We didn't have the television there, but it was in the, in the on the wall. And she climbed uh, there and then uh, yeah. down and then all right. night noise. Then I talk to the Paula says all the boys were coming around she was on heat she's in heat well no no that but <laughs> my brother-in-law ah she's talking about the brother-in-law of her if they were big enough they'd eat you <laughs> I just want to say healing the topic the healing for me it's just being here with you oh paula you are so nice oh, that's and very I'm, kind paula yeah very kind we didn't talk about that but quirkiness what is quirkiness well that's what i was telling you that the book the book that we're following is called life book by tamara laporte and she uses the word quirkiness in the chapter that actually this project comes from. She uses the word quirkiness. And I just like to, I'd rather use the word uniqueness. Uh, unique, what makes us unique is our like a unique personality trait and unique preferences. Hmm. So for me, I kind of, she used the word quirkiness and I just use that word. But I, for me, it, I relate more to the word of being uh, just the, un our uniquenesses. What? I see. Yeah. yeah. Call it as you want. It's the same thing. <laughs> we are weird. People. Oh, yeah. Well, then we could we could try to talk about what makes us weird and then we talk with ourselves. And it seems like someone is answering us. Oh, I, I talk to myself, but that would be a quirk about, about it. it. Right. <laughs> That's a we quirk of mine. Yeah, that I, I do. I actually do talk to myself sometimes. Yeah, I, I am doing a joke. Like now, we are talking to ourselves because I am alone in my house and you are alone in yours. And we imagine that there are people even that tried that. <laughs> it's a joke. 
Don't try to understand. Well, that's me. not really for me. It's not. It's not a joke because um, I act. That's one of. I could say that is one of my quirks. My quirk. One of my quirks is that I do talk to myself sometimes. That's not a quirk. That's what I do every every time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you know what we used to to do when, uh, let's say, Maxi. I started that. Now he he does also. When I talk to myself, whatever, or he is in a game and he talks to to itself about it, and one of us says what, and he says, "Don't interrupt private conversations, please." Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Don't interrupt private conversation, Maxi. <laughs> we are talking about our quirkiness. So I'm more interested in the chat to know what your quirkiness is. Yes, in the what chat, what's your quirkiness? What are your quirking? What are some funny? I say quirks. I think quirks are things that are kind of funny or something. Okay, sorry. We have a, a question from Anina. Who in your life was the most supportive in you with doing art? Interesting. Oh, I, actually, surprise! Uh, just my parents were. My but my parents were supportive of me doing art. Act as a matter, they just they, my and then my dad helped with my edu my art education, and he supported. They both my parents were supportive of my mm. art. Well, my per my father of course, and my mother, because my parents did a living uh, around art. So, yeah. Wow. No uh -huh. brainer. No brainer. Not that so my- parents my, were not artists. Huh? My parents were not artists. Well, my father was, not my right. mother. Uh -huh. Here they were talking, Anina was talking about spiders. Oh, I don't no, like spiders. spiders. Do you have a animal, emotional support spider, Anina? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, Anina, now 58, still the same. <laughs> My grandma used to tell people, I thought I was the most funny person ever. <laughs> I did this at five years old. What you did, Paula? Let's see, uh, because I I was, or, or maybe something that we told, because she was talking about the heat, the cut in heat, and then she said that, and I am highly suspicious now, Paula, please explain. <laughs> Well, I think you can see what I am doing here in this part. This will be a person, this will be a cat, and this will be a piano. Or oh, something. interesting. And then I don't know how I will resolve everything, but because I have this, I am okay with that. Emotional support support spider <laughs> oh yes well could be spider man <laughs> that could work by the way i have a spider man outfit what like for ha halloween co a costume no for kids i receive it because uh rina that is the person that helps me knows that I used to do uh, all kind of things. I, I need of ki all kind of materials. So she she bring me all the time things. That's and nice. she brought that. One is a tiger and the other one is Spider-Man. And I need to do something, maybe a journal with the, the fabric. 
I don't know. Oh, a fabric, a fabric journal. Yeah, no, the covers. I think. Uh, fabric covers. Yes. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah, I use burlap. Oh yes, Anina says for me it was healing to be surrounded by others, by other people than my mom because I know she is better in everything. So, but she is supportive, just very critical. Oh, yeah. My mother had a, a critical, and she's, she's hearing me, a, a critical face, but uh, she, once, one day, I talked to her, and let me tell you, that took a while, because I was maybe 50 or more. Oh. But before that, I didn't know that I can talk about that with my mother. <laughs> you see, sometimes we tell something about other people, but we don't talk about it with the other. We think ahead that they won't understand. Oh, or they, uh -huh. We don't have the, the right to say something. So that was an experience. So my mom, I, I, that was the time that I started to talk to my mom as an equal. Oh, I, I say. I think it was my, my own develop, my own, yes, develop as a person. Hi, Goswina. Goswina, hi. How are you, dear? Oh, she's out of the hospital. Apparently, she was in the hospital from Thursday to Saturday. Oh, I oh, hope you're feeling better. Yes. Diana was asking about your lady cat. She was not operated, so could have babies. All the boy cats came around to offer services. Love, see? I am funny to this day. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. But uh, I know what she talk. The thing is that I didn't finish the, 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 the tell. So, we talk to the like the organism figure that out we were new in the country when you go to another country and poland knows that you didn't know how things works in the oh. other country so yeah, we I didn't know hmm? so that didn't finally, happen to me but i could imagine yeah yeah, so finally we understood who to call, and they told us, come here, here, and here. Okay, here they talk a lot uh, with uh, references. Instead of give you the direction, the address, they said, okay, it's in a, that uh, cross of streets. Or they called some points like uh, the two avenues cross with a name. And we didn't know that name. We didn't know even that they do that. So we couldn't find the place on time. And that day, Maxi needed to do a, I don't know if it was a city. No, a city, no, nothing too complicated. But it wasn't in our clinic. We needed to go to another clinic. So we thought we, are going, we were going to go to leave the cat in some place and then go to the hospital. And because it was too late and we couldn't find a place, 
we were with the cat that of course you cannot enter a hospital with cats and uh, we didn't have even a, a, bo a cage oh I did, goodness I did, so you were trying to hold on to the cat no i did one cage with a creature of uh, milk something oh. plastic I, I i grabbed two of them that i have on hand and i did yeah. a cage with that oh wow but uh, the cat needed to go to to be without it and without drink for the operation oh so when we uh, knew that we needed to go to the hospital with the cat and Maxi couldn't because he he didn't uh, talk Hebrew so he couldn't go alone so we changed buses and in the place we changed buses in Haifa in another city we said okay maybe let's give her something to eat and drink we are going to see what we are going to do when we arrive to the hospital but in the meantime in the place we change uh, buses we open the cage a little bit to give her food and water and she escaped ah oh, she escaped and went to the to a place that was in construction. Oh. And she, of course, she could enter and we couldn't. Oh. And we needed to go to the hospital too, because we have a certain time to arrive there. And after a while, we needed to leave her there. What can we do? And that was the two stories of cats in my life. Oh, that's like I have two dog stories. Oh, yeah? Both involving biting. Yeah, I have three dog stories. Three dogs. Well, I told you the first dog story. I yes. got bit by a dog and had to be rushed to the hospital because I got bit by a German shepherd in my hand and had stitches in my hand and couldn't use my right hand for several for a month because it was all bandaged up and I was in second grade and couldn't write. And the other the two other two dog stories are an ex boyfriend, he owned a Belgian shepherd. And so one time, I was in charge of the Belgian Shepherd because he was out of town and I was bringing the dog around from the backyard to the front yard. The dog weighed only 20 pounds less than me at the time. The dog weighed Whoa. 90 pounds and I weighed 110 and the dog weighed 90. So I was just bringing it around from the backyard to the front yard. And he saw the, and she, it was a she, a Belgian Shepherd, saw the mailman and she had been barking through the door. She had always been barking through the window for months. She see the mailman and always bark at the mailman through the, through the door, through the window. And then that day she saw the mailman and, and ran to it and bit the mailman in the leg of just puncture wounds, only puncture wounds. And, um, and yeah, so then he sat down and I got bandages and I got antiseptic and band I went inside, got bandages and antiseptic. And so there was that experience. And my other experience is just the fun, the, the fact that I, whenever I would try to walk her, I had, I, I, I discovered I had to, instead of just holding onto the leash, wrap it around my arm, I had to wrap the leash around my waist. Because she only weighed twenty pounds less oh, than me. Yes, yes. And she had been abused as a puppy. So, um, my ex boyfriend was her fourth owner, and she had been abused as a puppy. So that was that contributed to her poor behavior. Yeah, I understand. <sighs> mm -hmm. Well, my dog, the name was Jerry, the the one that displaced the cat, the Chow Chow. He was really fond of me, and uh, I took him to a 
walk and one boy. First of all, we experienced that uh, boys who throw him uh, stones. Oh. It was so, so bad. And um, the poor, the poor dog, like, didn't do anything to them. So now, I think one of those boys, boys, was the one protagonist of this story. He, uh, I, 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 I walk near um, fruit and vegetables uh, vendor and one i i think i was like maybe 12 or 13 and he must be i don't know from 15 to 17 i guess i didn't know i never knew but he the my dog suddenly beat him Oh, and uh, when he went to the police with my parents and the dog, uh, because he complained about this, my my dog needed to to be in one place like ten days in observation, but. Uh, he said to my mother or to my father, I know your daughter and I was about to say hi. And I didn't know him. So I think he came with another intentions and the dog knew that and then attacked him. So oh. anyway, uh -huh. that was one of the stories. He adored me, really. Okay, my quirky piano is here. Let's see the chat a little bit. Oh, hi, Paul. Hi, James. Paula is telling something about his mother and I am so glad so too uh, as Anina said no glad of what happened to her I was the one that I uh, have an abused husband and yeah it was really not a good situation and I did a uh, finally separate from him but I lost a lot in the way someday I will tell you something anyway <laughs> let's talk about something else Paula says exactly Miriam so I don't know <laughs> maybe what I was then talking Paula says oh Diana Diane uh, I see it written as we write this in Spanish and immediately I, I mispronounce it. Sorry. Uh, what the, we, Paula said name. my name? Yes. Uh, maybe, I was maybe talking about my the commenting on my dog story. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, it's uh, hard to to know after the thing. And Paula says, so sorry, Miriam. We know it. Yes, I know. My kids know it too. Okay. That's it. Finish with the key boards. <laughs> With the keys, the 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 black keys that here are um, blue. 
Blue, blue, blue. And now let's do something here. Oh, no. Let's put it in water. So, quirkiness. Who is quirky here? And how? Well, I already so, told you one of the ways I'm, one of my quirk is that my, one of my quirkinesses is, is, is talking to myself often. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Okay, let's see. I have two different colors. So, people, I need your advice. I am going to do the body or the... Um, yes, the body of the guy. So, I have here violet with a little bit of blue, light blue. I have light blue with violet, but different. And let's grab another different one because, and I also have this kind of papers, not tissue papers. Let's see. Mm. This one. But this one is too close to that. Maybe the, this part. Mm, yeah, we can do it like that. What do you say, chat? Uh, in the UK, says Paula, there is a rescued old race horse. He you know, has a charity where they take him to hospitals and let him choose where he goes to offer himself. Oh, that's incredible. The healing power of the animals is something else. Let me tell you. Oh, that's true. Well, I am waiting, but in the meantime, I can trace it. I call my kitty my comfort kitties. They're a comfort to me. Oh yes, yeah. she's talking about healing animals. Yes, yes. My and comfort I did, kitties. I did something that I never did in my life because I don't know why. Maybe because my parents were no believers, and there are a lot of things that in my house were let's say not not so good thing no i don't want this ah i'm going to use this one maybe not uh, but um like there are things that are considered like um not bad exactly but something not so, you know, uh, parents said, oh, yeah, you did well. And sometimes they don't say that. So that um, was some things in my house where, like, on that avenue. Okay? You mean not nurturing enough? Yeah, let's not say. Not encouraging enough. Yeah, I had to deal with that. Yes, I had to deal with that. And not uh, like, uh, like I say to my kids, oh, good things you did. Oh, yeah, and encouraging. I know exactly. Okay. So to have an animal, a stuffed animal, as maybe myself was like that. I don't know. You, we cannot blame our parents for everything. Right. Especially if my mother is hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the, in the stream. I, She's in the chat. She's in the chat. I cannot say a lot of things. <laughs> now, I, I love her. I love her in pieces, really. But... The thing is that growing up, I didn't have a lot of, I have, I have my, 
my boyfriend at the time, that was my first hat fan, brought me a dog. I think it was as tall as me, and this it was a peluche dog, and uh, he was sitting, and he was as tall as me. So oh, yeah, that's one. similar to what I was talking about. How the dog was twenty, only twenty pounds less than me. Oh yeah, but it was a, not a real one. Oh, stuffed animal. Stuffed animal. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, the thing is that I have it in my room, but I didn't play with him. Let's say like that. And now I did my chicken, my emotional support chicken. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. And I have her on my bed. And whenever I feel it, I grab her and I use it as a, as a, blanket and uh, a pillow and and the sensation of having her in my arms it's so soothing and i'm not ashamed of that i don't know if i need to but i'm not so that's part of the Quirkiness, quirkiness. Oh, yeah. <coughs> so, let's, oh, Julie Parker is here. Hi, Julie. How are you, dear? Hi, Julie. And hi, Davey. Davey's here. Davey, hi. Oh, I don't like the medium, the gel medium when it's uh, in wow. my hands. But... At the same time, if that will be will uh, would be glue, I would love to have in my hands, but not gel medium. It's so different. Oh, and that oh yeah. Can you pass me a black? Oh no, 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 what? no. What? It's not no need. I have another one here. What? Black, but I what? have another one here. I don't need you to do here. it. Here, I have. No, don't don't do that. I, I have no no room for that. <laughs> I choose one like this, little, and he wanted to give me one like this. A lot of paints. I don't need so much. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And close the door. Close the door. Yes. It's a little bit uh, it's, Wendy. It's Maxie's birthday, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. It Happy is. birthday again, Maxie. Thank you. And he's going now go to cook. Hi. Hi, VS Speaks. Hi, how are you? Let's see. Estella is here. Hi, Estella. How are you? Oh, it's time for a happy dance, you everybody. You happy birthday, Maxie. Thank you. She's been listening for a while. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's a happy dance for Maxie's, Maxie's birthday. Oh, okay. Oh, do, you still have, wait, I'm sorry, do you still have epidemic sound? Okay, okay. No, do you? I don't know. Uh, Miriam, do you still have epidemic sound? Or because I can't play yes, it. Yes. yes, I have. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, no, that's wrong. One. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs>
Welcome back. Maxi says thank you. And you're, and you're happy you're dance. Welcome. So let's see the chat. Uh, they are say hi one to another. Okay. Julie says, lol, I thought an ad was coming on. <laughs> no. It's the happy dance. Yeah, everybody. I have six versions of happy dances. I used to do live happy dances by dancing on my chair. <laughs> <laughs> now I have six pre-recorded happy dances. Oh. Yes. I have my arm, one of my arms. I don't know if I need to put something about the visual art because I am doing it. You don't know if you need to put anything about oh, visual art, you said? Yes. Oh. Ah, do you love a cat? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Maxi loves cats, loves, loves uh, dogs, loves snakes. <laughs> no, snakes. snakes. Even snakes? I don't know. I don't know wow. if, if he loves snakes, but he goes anywhere he goes. First of all, takes him double the time because in every cat, every dog, he stops. Oh. On, the, on the way. But, oh, Lisa is here. Hi, Lisa. How Hi, are Lisa. you? And Maxi is here. <laughs> he entered the chat. So, the thing is that not only that, he knows if they are male or female in the in the case of the cats, especially because they are uh, feral cats, they're outside. They don't belong to anyone. And uh, people give them food and water, but they don't belong. And the municipality, how was the word? Fix them. Let's say fix them. It's yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, so he knows everything about those cats. And Every cat came to him. They know that he loves them. Really? Oh, and interesting. He asked for petting. And the dogs, of course, most of the dogs, they go out with the owner. So he knows the name of the dog, the age of the dog, <laughs> and sometimes even the name of the owner. Yes. What happened? What? Another half an hour. Okay? Okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I, I was scared what you said. Uh, Lisa said, bloody hands, butchering 15 pounds of beef and lurking. Okay, oh. Lisa. We appreciate it. Wow. wow, Lisa. We really appreciate that. And uh, okay, let's see. I need to wrap it up because I have only half an hour. So let's see what I am going to do. First of all, let's do the other hand. Let's see if I do here as I planned. See how it goes. Okay, something like that and like this. Which noise? We, I don't hear it. Don't worry. Noise. 
Whatever you said, it's okay. No, it's... You don't know what you know. Yes, you know, that. that's it with the languages. Is Maxi going to be doing is what, what special thing is Maxi doing for his birthday? Anything? He went to the social club and they sang him the oh, uh -huh. happy birthday in Hebrew. Oh. <laughs> and uh, And I think he's going to make a, a dinner now. <laughs> he received something from me. I made, with his design, I made specially for him a stencil. Oh. So that was one of the presents. Um, sí, lo tenemos. Bueno, si quieres verlo. And uh, a card, because he wanted a card. So I did it. And I have another gift for him, but will come later. And tomorrow. now, maybe tomorrow, maybe another day. Oh, okay. We don't know. Okay, I'm going to do something Mom. bold. Oh, here is the stencil, Maxi stencil. Uh, Maybe uh, I can uh, make um, something like you will appreciate. He, he's gonna, he is going to use the stencil? I think so. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Maybe, says. Maybe. That's the. Oh, I didn't know he does art too. You say he does art, right? Yes, he does. In fact, this is uh, his design. Maybe. Oh, nice. These are canvases that he did for me. These are more open. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can show, you but can? I, I can do it. Like this. This is his style. Nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's so nice. Thank you. Welcome. So we were talking with Maxi recently because he said, sorry about the noise because she, he's cooking so we have a i don't think we hear it i don't hear it i don't i don't i said that we don't hear but he asked me how do you say and he said noise in spanish and i said noise how you said oh i didn't know if it was correct and that's why i tell him told him that sometimes the Knowledge is something that you have and you don't know you have. Wow. But he was he was born in Argentina, though. He was born in Argentina. Oh, okay. he was here at age twenty-four. But he speaks Hebrew now. It's something. Anthony and Greg wish Maxi happy birthday. Oh, Maxi, Anthony and Greg wish you happy birthday. And he's, he's, he says thank you. He's learning English. So now he can talk and understand. And in a very brief, uh, like, I, I, I'm amazed with the accomplishment of Maxi. I remember the first day we came here. Oh, Julie Parker said, that's a great stencil, Maxi. That's great, Maxi. Amazing, Maxi. I only know 
Names of God in Hebrew. Yes, I know. <laughs> and uh, the thing is that Maxi needed to, to learn everything from scratch. Like, and now he's learning English. And I think that uh, in no time, he is going to learn uh, Japanese because he loves it. Yeah, Japanese. Really? Yeah, yeah I, have, I, have, oh. I have faith in him. Oh, we might have a, uh, somebody visiting us on panel. Alec wants to come up on panel. Okay. We have a room, Alec. Okay, that's it for this part. Now I need to put some other color here. Let's see. This one, it's available. Okay. Let's think now. I need to do the eyes. Eyes are white not all the eyes are white maybe but no i don't think so uh i i need to see yours oh some someone anina knows okay, let's see Oh, Just married to a Japanese man this weekend in Japan. Oh, and he speaks uh, Japanese. Oh, sorry, Alec. I cannot send it to your messenger. I put it in the chat. I'm on a different iPad today. I cannot send it to your messenger. There it is in the me in there. Oh, it's in the chat. I love your cat. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I like my cat. I like the, a cat with gold wings and a gold crown with flowers oh. and a rainbow. It's a rainbow kitty because I love color. That represents that I love color. Yes. And I and the wings represent that I love birds and butterflies, and then I have flowers in the foreground, and I love sparkly things, so that's why I have the gold wings and the gold crown. Mm. Hi, Lexi. She finished. She finally finished painting her first strawberry patch. Oh, but thank you, thank you. She said the art is looking good. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, let's see. I need to put some contrast here against the white, but I don't want that to be too bright. Whew. I can do it. Um, I'm not sure that the color here, but I know that need to be like, with a lot of uh, gel medium or something like that. So I don't want like this, a ball color. Well, let's do a little Hi, bit Alex. of white on the hands so I can then put some other color. It's yeah. Admiral. Hi, Alec. It's Echoey. 
I don't I don't hear Miriam echoing. I don't hear you echoing. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Yes, you are echoing, Alex. I'm echoing. I don't hear him. I don't hear him echoing. Yes, you. It's you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Pat says I'm, you I'm, lovely I'm, ladies I'm, make art fun. Okay. Yeah, they, want, yeah, yes, I do. Yeah. Circle. I want a circle here. Hey, chat. Hey, everybody. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Oh. Sorry, sorry, guys. I want to grab something from a drawer, and my dog is uh, in front of it, and she thought I am going to pet her. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm on a different device today. For some reason, my phone is batting weird. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's, what's going on with my phone. It's not working. Every time I, t I touch my phone and, and my hands get hot, I think my phone. I think my phone's getting hot now. Mm. I don't know. I, I think it's good. planting. She didn't paint a straw. What did you you plant? I mean, Lexi planted her first strawberry patch. She did. That's oh, awesome. Planted. Oh, now I understand. She did that. That's that, that's awesome. Hi, Lexi. Hey, Lexi. When I was little, we had we we went with my parents to see a movie. The movie was called The Red Balloon. I saw that movie. I remember that. You remember? Yeah, I watched it. I thought we I saw that as a child. Yeah, it's a French movie. Yes. And Yeah, that's a good that's a good children's movie. Yes, I was mesmerized by it. Yes, place. me too. Me too. Okay, I don't know what happened with this color, but I am going to take it. Did you say you recently saw that again? Or no, no, no. I I saw it after I was already big, but not. Lately, oh, I saw it. I first saw it as a child. I I loved it. I fascinated with red balloons, so I made a balloon here. A red one. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that picture of my tree. What? Is that your jewelry? No, it's my Christmas tree from a couple a couple years ago. Isn't it a nice tree? Yeah, that's nice. Yes, it is. Wait, what's what's you talking about? I'm what's where I am? Where, where am I in the world? <laughs> Okay, so let's see the chat. Estella says, Alec, maybe you need to update the operating system for your phone. And Julie says, Yeah, he keeps oh, dropping yeah. off. This usually oh. happens. He, he keeps, he drops off a lot. Julie says she just conditioned her plate. And, um, uh, Anina says, where are you in the world, Alec? Oh, Alec lives in North Carolina. And uh, Julie says, um, da -da 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 -da. Ah, Anina said, Julie, what oil do you suggest? And Julie said, Master Pro Revitalizing Mineral Oil for Chopping Boards. Wow. I use 
or condition my plates, baby oil. For your jelly, for your jelly plates? Yes, it works perfectly. So, yeah. Let's see. I need so how to how often do you have how often do you have to use the baby oil? Oh, I, I if I don't let uh, paint on the sometimes I I do my last print like in a long haul. That means that I don't take out the stencil. Or, and I do some layers and then I pull with one color. And uh, in that case, I left it overnight so I don't condition it. And sometimes I do some abstract scenes with brushes and I do the same. But if I don't do that, every time that I use the gel plate, I clean it and I condition it every time every time, oh. every time. but hopefully I'll get me a new phone soon I just when I when I my, when I touch it my hands get all witty and stuff and I think it's red because my there's a there, my phone my there's a there's a red but there's a there's a there's a there's a, there's a red thing on you know, my phone so I don't know what's going on with it it's just it it it, it, it my, my feet when I have my feet my finger just get hot when I touch it, and then when I stop touching the phone, yeah, yeah the I red, the red light water. means it's over your your phone's overheated. Yeah, it's overheated for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. Now they all get me a new phone soon. Well, until this mess gets cleaned up, but um, y'all see my Christmas tree? That was my Christmas tree from two years ago. That was my Christmas tree from two years ago. So I want to, to to talk about healing a little bit because it's healing what our team is. So yes, healing is good. It took me in life a lot of time to found my own healing. I meant the to find out. Who am I? Well, I, I still don't know <laughs> who I am, but to I think to there is a phrase in English, I'm not sure if I'm going Thanks, to, really. to come to terms with myself. Yes, I, I just I wanted to add to that when you're done. I could add to that. Okay, please do. That Heal, I he, I think healing starts with loving and accepting yourself. Yes, yes. I'm really interesting if you can talk about what we talked uh, two days ago about doing. Do you remember? Uh, no, I don't. Can you give me more clues? Yes, depression and how to overcome it because it's part of the healing oh yes well not everybody battles depression i have over the years i have and um me too it, one, it, um, one thing one thing doesn't heal it i for me i found it it takes several it can take several different things to help with it Okay. And I, I found I find the biggest thing is self acceptance and self love is one of the biggest things. Yes. To know yourself, you know, I think to know yourself is the first thing for me. Because know yourself come with the hand in hand with accepting. Sometimes we think we know us, oh, but yeah. in fact, it's a facade, facade 
that we put to, we all have like fantasies about how we can, we need to be. That is based on what other people accept and not us. Like they, they talk us to, well, maybe there are people that are more fortunate that they don't, don't have that problem. But I think that when we are little and our parents said, you need to do that or you don't need to do another thing, we started to act according what is expected of us and not what we want. Because sometimes what we want come uh, with uh, like reject. And sometimes we don't know that either, but we think that is that. So when I started to accept myself, that was the time that I started to know me. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, may I address something in the chat? May I address something in the chat, Diana? Is something wrong? No, I just want to. I just wanted to talk to Stella. Hi, Stella. I just saw your comment, and you said, and, and you said that I probably need to update the operating system for my yeah, phone. Yeah, somebody said that. Yes. Well, my I can't do that because my phone is old. My phone is a Galaxy uh, 6 9, S9. And so it's not taking any more new updates, is that right? I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, we, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, right. I don't think so. Because I think I've, I've, I've had that phone for like about like 12 years because. Yeah, it probably isn't going to take any more new updates. Because I've had that phone for like about like two years because my father, he, um, he had that. He gave me that phone and then I. And he did, he took the service off, and then and I have it. But Stella, thank you. That is a good idea. But I just do you think you're I, getting a new phone soon? Yeah, some some. Um, I'm getting a new phone soon. It's just my just my mother. She's going through a lot right now. Oh, okay. Hey. Hi everyone. Hey hey hi everyone in the chat. Hey uh, oh, Davy. Hey Pat. Hey Julie. Sorry, Sorry Alex. Hey Amina. Lisa, Lisa said. It is hard to please everyone, Miriam. And I think she mm -hmm. has a point. Because yeah, she does. I, I, I don't know you, but I am a people pleaser. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't want people to be mad. Not at me. Mad in general. Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't uh, stand... Mm -hmm. Uh, violence or bad thought and negativism. So yes, I think that. Uh, what happened there? I don't know. I just clicked on something. Let me. Uh, let me. Let me just check and see if it if it, if it does need an update. I mean, I don't think it does, but I mean, it's always good to check. I mean, my my uh, my uh, my other I the, uh, the the device I'm on right now my the device I'm on right now is uh, is my other iPad and it's older and it's starting to get hot. So we I accept think. you as you are, Alec. Thank you, Ariel. You <laughs> don't <have> the noise. <laughs> oh, Lexi has something interesting to say. Can I share what she said? Yes, please. Yeah, I see it. So true, Miriam. I'm often hard on myself because I can't be the kind of person I think is ideal, quote, ideal. But I'm much closer to the ideal when I accept myself, I accept my limitations instead of always fighting my nature. Oh, yeah, good point, Lexi. 
That's perfect. Yes. Yeah. And let me um let me um also thank somebody else. Thank you so much, Stella. Yes. Ah, yes. You 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 read it. Perfect. No, it says my phone is up today. Yeah, it's time for a new phone. It's time for a new phone. I'm going to get the updated version. I think I think it's always good to get the, to get the updated version. Okay. Lexi yeah. also says trying to be perfect just stresses me out and makes me mean. Yeah. I, I yeah. Yes. Oh my God! Hold on. How about be? You know what? I was thinking the other night after we talked, uh, Diane. Yes. Uh, uh, I was thinking that we, the only thing that we need to do in life is to enjoy it. Right. Because yeah. every one of us is like a part of a machinery. It's like if you have a machinery and suddenly one bolt, bolt or one, uh, how do you say, uh, screw, yeah, start to think that he is the best or start to think that he is the worst or whatever it is, he stopped functioning because he is all the time thinking about it. The machine can't work. And then the machine is the one with the problem. So I think that we are part of a big machine. All of us, all the living beings yeah this is y'all this is ridiculous sorry what alec oh my gosh this is ridiculous okay. what's wrong so i have uh i have some i have a i have some i have it i have some tiktok accounts because i'm on tiktok and all these scammers are trying to follow me <laughs> okay so what I was saying is that because we have something uh, or are part of something so great that we cannot understand how everything works and how we are part of it, the only thing we can do is to enjoy. And the only indicative that something is wrong is when you don't enjoy. When you don't enjoy, when you don't live every minute of your life freely, you are stopping the big machinery. You are part of the illness of that big machinery that is the universe. Let's say like mm -hmm. that. Okay? Yeah. And uh, because you don't understand the big purpose, you only can take care of your part and your part is to work properly to work freely is the indication that everything is okay when you start to hesitate or to feel uncomfortable is because there is something that is wrong and what is wrong is your attitude <laughs> towards things. I don't know if I can explain my right. I I I under, I, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, we just have a few minutes left. Okay. I thought I, thought I just wanted to come say hi. I'm at home till home today because my mother I slept this morning, and so I come say hi to you guys. Okay. Yeah, uh, Diana, what are you doing? Diana, what are you doing? You're streaming with Davy. Uh, it's, it's going to be the, the last Thursday of. It's always the last Thursday of the month. Okay. Oh, that could be next week. That might be next week. 
Oh my gosh. What do you think of that? I have to. Yeah, that's right. So I got to talk to Davey about it. Yeah, that that, that yeah, this 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 month is this month is going by fast. Let me see if it's next week. Next week. Oh my goodness, it is next week. Oh my <laughs> lord. Next Thursday is going to be the twenty fifth. That's going to be the not this coming Thursday, but next week is going to be the last Thursday of the month. Wow, baby. <laughs> She is a lady talking about she is a lady. Let's see. Oh, well, Belinda. Y'all. Hi, Belinda. How are you, dear? Hi, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. How are you? And, uh, you uh, are, we, are we ready? I'm ready. Are we all, almost ready? To oh, go? let me I think something right quick. Let me think something right quick. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Maxine. <laughs> oh, Maxine. Alex said you happy birthday. Have a good birth. Have a, have a good birthday. You're welcome. I wanted to read the chat. So Julie says it took, I mean, when I when you say accept yourself for who you are, I agree at one stage. I didn't even know who I was or what the bad feelings were. And said it took a long time to understand about that and get through it. Jesus was the only way I could get through it. And uh, Belinda says hi and says to said hi to you, Diane. And Lisa says, in the beginning of our lives, we are guided by our by a family and their expectations. It takes time to work through who you are during various stages of life. Yes, uh, Julie says, I remember when it finally sunk in that it is okay to say no. Oh, say no. Oh, it's a wonderful comment. Very one- yes. oh, wonderful comments, everybody. Lisa <laughs> says, ladies, I need those cats digitals to add to my cat journal. Okay. We are going to. I am going to send you, Lisa. Who said that, Lisa? Oh, Lisa, Lisa. for her cat. She's going to start a cat journal. Yes. That's nice. The dinner is ready, and I am about to be ready too. Oh, we need to finish. Ten o two. I was so distracted. We need to finish. Yes, I have some things to do to it, but I think that overall it's okay. <laughs> yeah, so so am I, Maisley. I'm in North Carolina too. But guys, I think I'm going to go live and do a watch hour stream. Okay, see you soon, Alec. Okay, bye. Well, 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 to wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go do a lot. I'm going to go do a live and go do a watch our stream on my Alan Morris mm-hmm. last clip. I, I, want, I want to finish with uh, uh, something that Julie is saying. Also, forgiveness plays a huge part. Right, Forgive, nice forgiveness to- of well yourself and also some probably yes. people in your past. Yes, all of that. I want to go out here and watch our show, and then I'm going to pop it to TV. Get off the YouTube. We're, yeah, we're about, to, we're about to um, end the stream soon. I mean, yes, we are going to end now, I think. Okay, bye, bye, bye everybody. So nice and loved, loved all the comments. Loved all the comments about healing through yes, art. Thank you so much healing. for participate and for being here. And I am going to post as usual when I finish this. I am going to post it um, everywhere. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. He says bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.